Well, that that was terrific win. Um, I think I think Pitt's really good. I think Jeff's done a terrific job with their team and um, coaching them certainly, but also just recruiting the pieces together and getting those guys to play. They they play really hard, and uh, I mean they only had three turnovers in the game. You know, uh, that's just that's well played. So we beat a really good team today. Uh, obviously. They made shots early. Uh, I'm proud of our guys. I thought our defense was terrific. And, um, you know, it's been a lot better than I've probably given it credit for here for the last month or so. And uh, obviously that's a big part of why we're, we're having some success. Um, obviously the end of the ha uh, half was huge. The plays down the stretch there at the end of the half to only be down four after they start the game making a bunch of threes and we're, we're having a little bit of a hard time on offense. Um, and then the second half was just, uh, I thought we played good basketball for the most part um, on both ends. Again, did our best defensively to, to make it hard on them. And I thought we were aggressive and had a good mix uh, to our game. So I thought Jack was phenomenal guarding Henson and uh, just had an unbelievable game defensively. Great to see Josh Beadle come off the bench and, and make a couple of big plays and just provide a spark, which we all know we can do. So. Uh, this was just a great team win against a really good team. Questions for me? This maybe wasn't quite the physical ball that Florida State was, but it's still very physical. Yeah. Their guards are quick. How does this set you up for, for playing tournament ball later yeah. on, playing the season? Yeah, I mean, it does from the standpoint of this is a tournament team, in my opinion. I mean, they, they those guys can easily get in the tournament and win games. And uh, so just competing well against teams like this, um, should give us confidence and, and certainly great experiences. And, uh, you know, it's it's really good experience for some of the guys that, you know, Josh Beatles and Jack Clarks and and uh, guys off our bench, you know, obviously Ian with a huge three. I thought Ian played very well again tonight. Um, you know, some of our, our guys are ready-made guys. They're Joe and Chase and PJ. Th those dudes are ready for anything. But some of your other guys, these experiences are, are vital to their confidence. And uh, so this was, again, hopefully a, a big confidence builder for some of them. Brett, how, how clutch was that? I mean, you need a little bit of luck sometimes, but that shot yeah. there that Chase. Chase. Yeah, it was a big one. Um, they guarded our initial action very well. We moved it. Chase got the ball. We were in space. Um, and they were there, there was some space there. I thought he was going to go to the basket, but he backed the guy up. And, you know, that's a shot he's made a little bit this year. And he just made it at halftime against Florida State. It's really the same play, just kind of a – chop your feet, attack move that a lot of guards make. Um, you know, he's played really well these last three weeks, uh, just on both ends. And I think, you know, I talked about this a lot last year, that Chase, you're asking him to do a lot when you're the guarding the point guard and, and you're dealing with all the ball screens on defense and you're being pressured and we got to initiate offense. And, you know, he probably played too much. He played 36 minutes, you know, I think. That's, that's, that's probably four or five too many. Um, to be as efficient as we want you to be. But thankfully, he was up to it um, tonight because I thought he was terrific. Has Josh been the catalyst for this defensive turnaround? He's been a big help because of the rebounding. I mean, you think about it. What, he had nine defensive rebounds? And then his ability to switch and guard different people. Um, I mean, his, his, his defense tonight was terrific. And, uh, you know, we've used him in a lot of different ways, probably – the common person wouldn't know in terms of being able to switch, and he's guarded point guards. He switched on to the center some at Georgia Tech. Um, so yes, his versatility and his his experience. I think you know his experience is vital. He's just he's an older guy that's played a lot of games, been through the wars. Um, I mean, how about the pass he made? I mean, terrific pass, right? You don't even think about it, but huge play. Um, so I just think he's been he's been very good. Man, my man's going out my neck. He's going negative on me. We're having a big win. He's going, no, that's all right. We we actually do. We can't have seven turnovers. You're right. Um, well, we had a couple of our post players careless with uh, outlet passes. Um, and I think a little bit of that, it, sometimes our guard, like Chase, gets fatigued and sometimes should be getting it on the move. Um, and I, I just think, you know, like PJ had one on an initiation of a, of a ball reversal with some things that, I think sometimes the game, like, it takes him first media to, like, 
he hadn't been practicing, and so then all of a sudden the pace is so quick that he's just a half step behind on some things. Um, but we've just got to keep keep working at it. You know, you got to make decisions. Uh, you got to be strong with the ball, and, and different teams are going to do different things. They were heavy on pressure on the wings. Um, you know, we tried to do some other things to combat it. I thought it helped us, but we did have a couple turnovers that you got to clean up in, in games like this. Yes, sir. 20 wins, two years yeah. in a row for you. Yeah. And you still cherish, I know last year it didn't really hurt yeah, yeah. you, but you still cherish the 20 win? Yeah, something absolutely. Yeah, I think that's, you know, whatever we play, 30, 31 games, 31 regular season games to win 20 games in this, this uh, day and age of college basketball, hard to do. And, uh, you know, certainly credit goes to my staff and players. Um, players win these games with big time plays. And so, um, yeah, I, I think it speaks to consistency. Two years in a row, you know, maybe three out of four um, in terms of, of really good winning percentages. I just think we've, you know, I think our program has done very well. Um, we got things we got to keep moving on and try to keep doing better. And hopefully this is a team that can, can take it to another level. Um, but certainly I do think 20 wins is significant. TJ not being full speed early, is that what you were getting on? Yeah, about? yeah, a little bit. Just like couple careless plays, like in the foul, you just can't do that. Like, I mean, drives me insane because we've talked about it and he just, he loses his mind a little bit and I love him dearly. Um, and, but when you're not out there every day and you're not practicing walling and Mozgov and these things that we do on defense, you know, you're a step behind. Now I will say this, down the stretch, he was really good, you know, and his defensive discipline was good. And, uh, that's part of what drives me crazy is I know I need him at the end and he's over there sitting next to us with foul trouble and it's like, hey man, we can't can't be doing this. Like you, you know, you got to we got to win the war. You know, you might have to lose a battle here and it, it's funny in the last game there was a play where he's in a little bit of foul trouble again. He had 3 and they kind of beat somebody and he was late getting there and he was going to come over. It was going to be a foul and he let him go and they scored. It wasn't great, but Better than like an and one, and he's over here with four. Um, and so just getting him to understand that, you know, his value, how important he is. There are times, and then, you know, his third foul tonight, he's like fouling a guy passing the ball. Like, we don't need that one. Like, it's not going to kill us if that guy reversed it. We're okay. Like, but he, he wants to play hard. He's a competitor. Um, that's what I love about him. And, uh, Again, we he had some big baskets and big rebounds, and I thought his defense was good down the stretch. Touching off of that, PJ, touching on PJ a little bit. The next time you play him this gym, it'll be senior night. Yeah. What has he meant to this? Oh program? man. He's quirky at times. He frustrates you with some fouls oh. at times. But I mean, what a core. Yeah, I love him. I mean, I absolutely love him. He's been an absolute joy. Um, I'll get emotional if I talk about it too long. I really will, because I'm I'm going to miss him more than, you know. Um, he just cares about everybody cares about our program, cares about me, cares about the, his teammates. And I think he feels bad right now that he's not practicing. And I mean, it's just like, it's genuine. And it's, he doesn't want to let anybody down. And so it's hard, he's hard on himself, um, but he's an ultimate program guy. I mean, he just, whatever we need to do, he wants to do. And uh, I mean, he's been an absolute joy and um, I'm extremely grateful to coach him. Playing, yeah. playing off of that, uh, kind of with the rest, how big was tonight in the sense that you kind of keep that goal in front of you that you can get that double by? Which you all got to yeah, I mean, obviously it's, you know, very hard. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's this this win was big. Obviously we've been tied with Pitt, and um, now we got to go back on the road. And, and uh, Notre Dame's one of the best defensive teams. I've watched their film a lot this year. They Micah's doing a terrific job. They play extremely hard, and they're hard to, hard to beat because um, they're hard to score against. Um, so that'll be that'll be a challenge. Uh, but this obviously keeps positive momentum going, which is really good. And we're, you know, day off tomorrow, which is good for the players. I think we've gone about 10 days in a row and three games in seven days. And so just a day to kind of decompress and take a deep breath and, and get some guys in with the trainers and do the things we need to do there to hopefully get right so we can get prepared properly for a, uh, our next one. Yeah. 
defensively. Yeah. How is that, what is it about him that allows him to play defensively? He's a better athlete than people think, especially vertically. Um, and obviously he's got toughness and, and strength. Um, you know, and then what's what's fun is to see him become a better basketball player, like making a big time three, you know, backing a guy down and scoring in the paint over top of a good athlete. Um, those are big time basketball plays, um, you know, and he's really improved that. That's not something that he really – he's always been a good rebounder. He's always been a guy that can pass a little bit, you know, um, but – Scoring and all the other things, not really what he's was wired to do. And obviously for his development, future of the program, that's going to be huge that he keeps taking those steps. And, uh, you know, he was terrific today. Double-double. I mean, big-time rebounds at the end of the game. Like just, uh, yeah, proud of him. Coach, start with uh, looking at, it seemed like Pitt at the beginning of the first half was kind of stretching through. They kind of took an early lead. They seemed like they had the hot hand. Yeah, the they did. Yeah, I think we just did a better job um, of understanding players of understanding exactly how they were playing um, and trying to attack it a little bit better, um, a little more efficient. Um, I think we got a, one or two in transition. Josh got a couple buckets driving it, which we needed to continue to do. Um, so yeah, again, I, they played great. I mean, the first beginning of the game, they were it was they were they were on fire and they were they had us on skates a little bit. They were moving it. Um, and again, I, I'm so proud of our guys for being able to guard them as well as we did. I mean, they the crazy stat in the game is they took 61 shots and we only took 48, so they got 13 more shots. Um, that's usually not a recipe for success. So with too many turnovers, and they got some offensive rebounds too. That's you know, and they didn't turn the ball over. Um, hard hard to beat teams like that. You really got to fight defensively. So that means you got to get a lot more stops, which we did. So that's why we won. Uh, Josh, having Josh as well as RJ coming off the bench for the score in clutch moments like this today, yeah. especially near the end for Beagle, as well as just this game as well, but also all of the past. Players. Yeah, he's done some really good things. Um, you know, we've we've talked about Josh a lot. You know, I frustrated the heck out of me. The first play on defense, he goes in and we play zone for one possession. I tell him exactly what they're going to do, and then he does exactly not what we're supposed to do, and and we give up a three. You know, and I take him out, and I'm like, hey, man, it makes it hard to play you, right? But I said, be ready because you are going right back. You're going back. And uh, I felt like there were some things in this game that would be good for him. And, uh, I mean, I tell you what was a great play that he made was when Ian got stuck under the basket and Josh made two cuts and ended up with a layup on a, on a little drop-off pass. But, like, that's a great basketball play. That takes some smarts. And Josh made a huge play on that. So. Well, Denali's got you in the number five seat as of tonight. Can you sit back and relax? No, no. Like we, we're not worried about any of that yet. We, we're still trying to just do the best we can in this league. Um, obviously, we're competing for the double bye, and um, we're just trying to win the next one. You know, really not. I mean, obviously, we're all aware of it, but we're not talking about it a lot as a – you know, we are talking about trying to win the double bye. We've been talking about that. We talked about it. Um, leading into this game. With about two and a half minutes left, PJ came over and asked for a timeout. You didn't take it on that position possession. You waited till the next one. What was the difference in what you saw in those? I was hoping that we could get through that possession and get a score, and then they might call timeout. And I wanted to have two if we could in the last couple because, you know, if we're up, there's going to be pressing and trapping, and, you know, you're going to need one for that. Um, and then you might also want another one for – uh, whatever, a score or something that your guys need. So I was just trying to get through it, but we didn't have a great possession. And so, and I could tell our guys were exhausted. And so it's like, I got to call it now because if we don't score and they come back at us, we're not ready defensively because we're so tired. Probably have time for one or two more. Coach, I just want to ask real quick about the Tulab of the ACC that you talked about. Yeah. You broke it open, another emotional win. Notre Dame next. How do you keep the mentality for two for the players on track? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you just – it's what we all do, right? I mean, it's – you know, you're just – we're not going to – we don't approach – we approach it the week, every week, kind of lay it out in front of the guys what we have. Obviously, we'll have the off day tomorrow, so we'll reconvene on Thursday. We'll watch some clips of this and try to learn some things and talk about Notre Dame 
um, and give them our full attention Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, and our guys understand they'll be mature. Um, doesn't guarantee you're going to win. You got to make shots, play well, all those things. But at this late date, you know, guys understand what's what's left and what what you need to do if you want to finish where you want to finish. So, um, I think there's been good focus. Obviously, we won six out of seven. Um, I think sometimes you know you just get beat. Sometimes you just the other team plays well. You know, like we made some big time plays today. I don't think Pitt played poorly at all. Um, they're a really good team, so this was a good one. Everybody good?